Hi, I'm Mike. I'm sitting here with Zach, who runs the Boston Software Craftsmanship Group. And uh, welcome, Zach. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Boston Software Craftsmanship Group? Sure. We have um, been around for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. and we do. Um, you, you were here before the last SCNA, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So the group, I think we started. April a year and a half ago, okay. whatever that is, mm -hmm. and we do uh, monthly meetings, usually like the first Monday okay. of the month, um, and the meetings, uh, we try and make them practice-based or okay. discussion-based, so like interactive. Okay, so like like doing katas and pairing exercises and things like that? Yeah, pairing okay. exercises or discussions, like we'll okay. read a paper okay. and like discuss a, the paper. What kind of, like a cod's uh, laws. The, I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. The uh, the Cod's paper on uh, you know relational design or or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to think. We read uh, last month. We read the S unit paper. Okay. Kent okay. Beck Kent Beck. Yeah. And then um, other things we've read. I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, but, uh, but, it, uh, but 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 you you kind of have homework a little bit. Yeah. It, sometimes we try and have a little bit of homework mm -hmm. um, so that people kind of come ready to discuss something. Mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely a pattern. Is that, um, is, I just had to wonder if that would ever be, uh, you know, it might be nice for me if I came to a meeting and I know I'm going to be at the next meeting that I put in that time to read the paper um, so that way I can be prepared for the meeting. But if I come in and I just am coming into my first ever meeting and I've never read this paper, I mean, is, have you ever experienced anybody that's, like, what has been the reaction to that? Have you had new people come in and, and participate and yeah yeah so I think sometimes we attract people depending on the paper we are reading so oh, like, okay I know like the last meeting we had a guy who was lurking on the mailing list for a long time and he saw we were reading the S unit paper and he was okay. really interested in it so they wanted to talk about it with other people um, sometimes you know um, not everyone's prepared. I'm not always prepared. Yeah. I'm pretty lazy about <laughs> reading. But um, it's okay because nobody's grading yet. It's not no one's grading us. Record. You know, it's it's just that you know, as long as there's enough people who can mm -hmm. kind of help a discussion go. Along. Okay. Okay. And, and oh, go ahead. So depending on kind of what homework we had, it'll like usually inform what activity we do. Okay. So like one time I had everyone just kind of peek at um, I think Luau. Uh, I don't, Lua? Well, Lua, the, 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 Lua. The, the scripting language. The scripting yeah. language. And then we all just kind of like played with the language for, you know, okay. kind of like, so. so it wasn't like a formal, like, hey, we're pairing on something that's more like, let's see what we can do. Yeah, so. Let's make this thing bark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we've yeah. had a couple of things like that where we're just kind of like, you know, messing around with something that no one knows. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, we do like, uh, there's a pair programming game that I kind of invented, and we have fun with that. What can, um, what, you, you invented a game? What, what, what is that? It's, what uh, are the rules? The rules are um, we take some kata, some simple mm -hmm. exercise or something more complicated, mm -hmm. and um, everyone pairs up, and you code for 15 minutes, and then one person stays at the computer, and another person leaves, so you oh, get okay. a new pair, and then, um, and then so you only pair on the code base twice. Oh, so okay. you kind of like inherit a new code base. So. Okay, so you're the you're like the navigator, and there's the pilot who's got the keyboard, and you're working with them, and then you get promoted to the driver's seat, and yep. then the driver goes off, and then a new yeah second. Okay, and it's uh, kind of silly, but it's fun. Yeah. Like sometimes you're pairing on like a language neither of you know, yeah. but it's okay because you're only on it for 15 minutes. Right, so but also like, you're kind of keeping people moving mm -hmm. through it, and you're not just waiting for people to raise their hands, I'm presuming. You're like, nope, you're next. Oh, well, I <laughs> or, mean, well, everyone's, you paired. Put it, everyone's yeah. paired, and then we just okay. have a timer. So every 15 minutes, oh, we shuffle oh, so, everybody. So it's not just one station where everybody's watching. Oh, no, pair. everyone. Oh, it's just everybody. Yeah, so we have uh, like eight people. We have four stations. Chairs. It's musical yeah. chairs, exactly. Okay. That'd musical be a good chairs name with the card. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. All yeah. right. New name. Music's done. Everybody, get up. Change seats. Um, so, um, okay. yeah, it's silly. It's fun, but um, yeah. And as as we had a previous conversation, uh, Boston has like one or two universities. Um, have you gotten any students coming into meetings? No. 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 That's it's. it's do you think it's just maybe they are not aware of them, or, or is it? I think because um, it has to be a unique environment. Where you know, it's I run some corp, very corporate surroundings. I don't know. I don't do the best job of publicizing. 
Oh, I'll edit that one on. You know, yeah. he, no, it's great. It's great. It's great. No, it, no, it's but hard. It's hard, to, that's hard to publicize. It's hard yeah. to publicize and running a user group. It's hard. It's a lot of work. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so that's one of the challenges, I think, of running a user mm -hmm. group is doing the publicity. Yeah. It depends how big you want it. So, like, right now we have, you know, you know I don't know, six to eight people who come to yeah. each meeting. And it's a regular crew. But I think I think you made a good point, though, about the how big you want it to get. The user group isn't always about just trying to build the largest base of, of attendance. It's yeah. can I build a group that I can meet with on a regular basis that I enjoy interacting and learning with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be I have fifty people or I have eighty people or I have ten people. It's are we having fun? Can we do this <coughs> for a long period of time? And are we learning things? Yeah. I think well, that's an interesting, you know. Perspective on that. Yeah, and for me, that's what the software craftsmanship group is about. Mm -hmm. Is kind of my education and you know my other peers' education, and so you know I want to make sure that it's I don't learn best passively, mm -hmm. and I don't think most of us do. So it's important to me that whatever activities we do are kind of interactive, right? So you know, okay. a discussion or an exercise. Or something. Well, thank you very much for All sitting right. down with me. Great, appreciate it. Thank you.